What up, YouTube? It's your boy Big Cool coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk, and I'm here to discuss Showtime's card that just wrapped up. That was headlined by Sean Showtime Porter taking on Andre Berto uh, in a WBC elim title eliminator for the right to face Keith one time Thurman sometime down the road. On the um, undercard, we had Jermel Charlo defending his WBC junior middleweight title against Charles Hatley. There's a lot of bad blood between those guys. Jamil is from Houston. Charles Hatley is from Dallas, Texas. And if you see the weigh-in yesterday, the guys was, you know, jawing at each other, all in each other's face. The press conference was crazy. Verbal jabs, verbal disrespect. And it, it, it was a, a sight to see. You know, those guys definitely didn't like each other. To the fight, you know, going into it, we all expected – Jamel to be dominant as he was. He had he had a two inch um, height advantage, the one inch reach advantage. He was the better boxer, the bigger puncher. The he's the younger guy. Like I said, he's the champion. He's fought better competition throughout his career. And Charles Hadley had his moments early on in the fight. And it was inter interesting to see, excuse me, how you know Charles Hadley approached this fight because if you know him, he's a guy that's capable of fighting orthodox and southpaw. He stayed in orthodox throughout the fight, which posed um, a lot of problems for himself, not Jermail. Jermail was able to hit him with the right hand, which is his best power shot. That right hand comes out like a missile. You know, he has a terrific jab that's sharp and, uh, and powerful as well. And he's very accurate. And instead of, you know, uh, Charles moving his head, you know, slipping, Side to side, he would just go straight back. And the reach and height advantage of Jamal of Jamel played, you know, play right into that. You know, he just was able to, you know, hit him with that right hand anytime he wanted to. And I was shocked that Charles didn't try to at least go to Southpaw to give Jamel a different look to kind of confuse him and then see if he can get some momentum fighting out of that um Southpaw stance. Um in the second round, Jamel uh, hit him, knocked him into the ropes. It was more of a off balance shot than anything. Then the third round come around, he dropped him with a beautiful right hand that shook up, you know, Hadley just a little bit. He hopped up real quick, indicated that he was okay. And, you know, fast forward to round six, they got into an exchange. Charles Hadley was throwing wide, looping shots. He squared himself up. Jermail being the better, more polished, fundamentally and technically sound fighter, he threw that right hand from the chin high, straight, knocked. Charles Hatley cleaned out. Definitely a knockout of the year candidate. He was dominant. He was impressive, like I predicted him to be. I predicted him to, you know, stop him in the eighth round, but he did it two rounds prior. So props to Jamel, who is a tremendous fighter. Um, he called out Jerry Hurd, who won the WB, um, A, I believe, no, the IBF, excuse me, vacant junior middleweight championship belt that uh, his brother Jamal vacated. Um, he defeated Tony Harrison. You know, for that belt a few uh, months ago, but like I said, he wants to fight and unify with Jared Hurd if possible next. Now on to the main event. You had Sean Showtime Porter taking on Andre Berto. Both of these guys are former welterweight champions, and they were fighting for the right to face Keith one time Thurman. And it was a fight that a lot of people frowned upon and was kind of confused about how Andre Berto got another shot, but he did. Andre Berto has always been willing to fight anybody and he's tough as nails and has good skills but Porter's pressure from the onset was too much you know it got ugly it got dirty it got sloppy with the head but Sean Porter was cut over both eyes Berto was cut over his left eye that definitely shook him up because you know that pressure Sean Porter gets right into your shit head into your chest he works the body he throws right uppercuts left hand straight rights you name it he throws it and it can kill the momentum um, of a fighter, and it, it can't wear on you mentally, which it did do. Uh, Berto was just over, you know, overwhelmed. You know, he's 33 years old. He's been in a few wars. You know, he's fought Victor Ortiz, Luis Colazzo, Floyd Mayweather, Robert the Ghost Guerrero. He's fought a lot of top, top, tough guys, and you know, the wear and tear kind of showed. And plus, you know, Porter is always in tremendous shape. He's you know, a strong fighter mentally and physically. And, you know, his game game plan is to pressure you, you know, work you over to the body. And, you know, round eight, he just killed 
Birdo to the body. And I thought he was going to stop Birdo because Birdo kept retreating to the ropes. Like, he was kind of looking for a way out um, because, you know, Sean was just ripping shots to the body. Ninth round came around. He got hit. You know, Porter head butted him, with, you know, and it kind of threw off um, Birdo. And he was trying to let the referee know, but the referee didn't see it. And, you know, being a fighter, if the referee doesn't stop or give you an instruction to go to your corner, you continue your um, attack. And Porter jumped on him, you know, hit him again, knocked him in the ropes. Then he hit him with a left hook, knocked him, pretty much knocked him down because the ropes held him up. The fight was waved off. It was an ugly affair. It had some moments where it was a lot of, it was some good infighting. Both guys were exchanging, you know, some nice punches. But Sean Porter did what he's supposed to do. He came out as the winner. And now he sets himself up as the WBC number one mandatory opponent for Keith One Time Thurman. Um, hopefully that fight gets made. But he also, Keith Thurman has, you know, opportunity to fight Lamont Peterson as well. And pretty much that sums up Showtime's card. It was a good card. Um, Jamil Shine Bright, the brightest on tonight's card. Uh, and look forward to his next fight. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Colossal Boxing Talk. Then head over to Twitter. Follow us there at ColossalCBT. Leave those comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about tonight's fight card. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.